All right, we're back. Uh, middle of the football season, week five. Right so, in the middle. Yeah, so we're, uh, things are flying. We had a busy week, a lot to get to today on the a lot, show. A lot going on. A lot, a lot to get on. to, so let's go ahead and get after it a little bit. All right, first up, our student athlete spotlight. Who you got? I've got Adam Anlier, was recommended by Ms. Schneider. Adam is an excellent student and has excelled in anatomy and physiology thus far this semester. He continually displays wildcat pride in both his golf game and academics. All right, Congra congratulations to Adam and thank you so much uh, for uh, turning that in. On Thursday, we had jo Joseph Trompetto, a full member of the football team, Ms. Basista uh, recommended him. I got a foreign exchange student added to my class today. It was his first day at Warren County High School. At the end of class, Joseph approached the new student and introduced himself. He asked him about his schedule and if he needed help get into his second period. I felt so proud of Joseph and his in initiative to make the new student feel welcome. So congratulations to Joseph. Uh, thank you, Ms. Fascista, for recognizing Joseph. We do those on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So uh, a lot of great things going on. It's nice to recognize it. What else we got here? Oh, man, look at that picture right Bam. there. Big time. So last night we hosted the Warren County uh, Competition Cheer Invitational and um, originally had 14 teams. Uh, five had a exit here in the last five, two weeks. Um, but anyway, had a strong field, a lot of locals. And um, let's do a little background history on this. So last year, or two years ago, we did have a competition cheer um, team. Uh, Carrie Detweiler came back on, who was a coach before. And so last year we had a JV, JV squad um, because just building the program back up. So this is our first competition this year and they win it. It was awesome. It was like, it was great atmosphere too. Like you said, there was local teams. So it was a packed crowd. Everybody brought a crowd. The Wildcat pack came out. Uh, so we had our own little great cheering section, which I mean, the energy was, um, you know, I've been to a couple of those cause they, they, we hosted before and that, that was a special night. That was one of those things, you know, us in the twilight of our career, we have stories, you know, that's going to be a story. Um, you know, from what you said, the history, you know, that so, some things were against us and you, you saw um, anybody who knows any of the cheer coaches will tell you this has not been the smoothest season. We've had injuries, uh, you know, when when the, the chips are a little down and you come together, those are the best stories you have. Well, even if we didn't win last night, I mean, it made it extra sweet that we won. But even if we hadn't, just the fact that we were out there putting on that performance was just it's a great story and it was awesome for those girls well it validates all the hard work that they've been putting yes. in that's what it does you know it, it shows you if you invest properly continuously over time good things will happen for you it doesn't guarantee success but it guarantees that positive things will happen so that was awesome for those ladies and like we said it was a strong crowd um a strong crowd but also a strong field uh, we had Brentsville here last night. They're the defending yep. state champion, so it was a tight uh, race with them. But uh, we came in first; they came in second. Um, Skyline was third. Yep. Uh, of a field of nine, so it was just a great night. Uh, really happy for those girls. Really happy for the coaches. And I would definitely say shout out to Brentsville Cheer and uh, and Strasburg Cheer at the end of the event. Without asking, they all helped us roll up mats. They were all working together. Um, the Brentsville team came up and congratulated. It wasn't like, oh, we lost, you know, sore loot. I mean, uh, it was great sportsmanship too. So shout out to all those teams. That was awesome. Yeah, I tell you, that was my first competition cheer event. And uh, I was impressed. One, the atmosphere that we had was, was great. But the way that each team would go to the mat and support the other teams. Yeah. So it was just, uh, as they were coming in and out of the gyms, when one would leave, they'd say, good luck to the next team coming in. So there was just great sportsmanship. And again, a team like Brentsville just showed their true character in that situation. Again, yeah. uh, they had a couple mistakes that, that, that cost them, but they were generally happy for Coach Detweiler and our girls um, and what they had accomplished, knowing they knew their story that we yeah. just kind of unveiled a little bit. So anyway, it was a great night. So congratulations to everybody. Thanks for everybody for showing up. And uh, it was a packed house. It was great. So let's go through the, the week. Um, we've already kind of done that a little bit. 
So uh, JV football uh, played against Strando. It was a question if that game would be played because of weather, but uh, we squeezed it in. Again, uh, J their uh, JV uh, ball club at Strando is really good. So we, that was a tough loss on Monday for those guys. And then volleyball was at Kettle Run, so that was a that was a matchup of the top two teams in our region, top two teams in D three. So um, varsity won three one, which I think um, just reaffirmed that we're making good progress. Those girls have done a great job. JV lost that that on Monday 2 but the varsity win I think um, was big. And then you and I were out at Shenandoah Valley Golf Club uh, for the region. We hosted the region championship. And so um, a long day. Uh, mm -hmm. And it, the regular um, 18 holes couldn't get it done. So we had a, a playoff with um, Goochland and Brentsville to determine the team championship. And uh, Goochland won that. So congratulations to those guys. Brentsville was second. And a surprise, I think, to them because, again, our region is strong golf-wise. Yeah. I mean, you have yeah. Meridian, you've got Kettle Run, are both yeah. people that are scoring. All those kids are scoring in the 70s. Yeah. Um, Last year, our region champion had a 335, I think. This year, we had six teams under 330. So yeah. that just tells you where our region is. That's great golf. And um, it was great to see our kids finish their season because this is – it's it's been sort of a building season and um our, you know our kids came out and i know some of them didn't have you know the scores they wanted but they played well uh it was rainy and tough conditions and and seb and and some of those guys had a, had a good strong finish they did they progressed throughout the year so big things for them uh next year um and then hustled back over from there and we had senior night i, I missed that on the transition back but uh honored there are three seniors, Sophia, Laney, and um, Kaylee. Um, so I was happy to honor those ladies. They were playing against Brentsville. Um, JV won 2-0, Varsity won 3-0, and those games were pretty, um, you know, we played well. So wasn't a lot of messing around going on that night. So happy for the volleyball team. In a rare chain of events, we didn't have anything on a Wednesday, so that was nice. That was nice. That was nice. And then, so last night was comp cheer, which we already talked about. We won that invitational. And then volleyball was at Manassas Park. Uh, JV won 2-0 and varsity won 3-0. And that takes us to today. Um, we got varsity football going over to Sharando. Uh, so we'll see. I know that um, Josh and those guys have been working hard. Um, so you talk to Josh. Yeah, yeah, he said we got to keep it simple tonight. We got to play fast, we got to play fierce, and we got to rep WC. We got to keep those core things in our mind tonight because, um, you know, Sharando's a good ball club, and um, we, we have to, he said, just keep it simple. That's, that's the focus tonight. Um, I would definitely think, he didn't say these words, but he, he was coming across with the do your job kind of mentality. Just focus on you and your job, and uh, good things will happen if we can do that. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, again, Sharando football was built on the principles of Rep WC. So, like, flipping that around to here, again, we just have to stay in the moment. Greatness happens in the moment. Again, like, there's going to be positive and negatives that happen throughout that game. How do you keep responding to that? Now, you can't let one negative play affect the next couple of plays. And uh, when you, when something good happens, you got to get back to business. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm excited to uh, see our guys compete tonight. And then Cross Country is heading over to uh, Kernstown Battlefield for Hanley's Invitational tomorrow. So good luck to um, a Cross Country team. That'll be at 9 in the morning. And that takes us to next week. Man. All right. Busy week. Busy week. So we got JV football at Burnsville on Monday. We're not, and we flip to October. Oh, yeah. 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 There we go. And then we got um, We Are Home on Tuesday uh, versus Meridian. And that is no longer that. So uh, we're, we're at home. And then Wednesday, we got cross country going to Brentsville for a tri match. We got competition cheer, which is actually, um, that's at Liberty. That's actually the Northwest District. Um, there'll be the fours and the threes will all be competing there. Oh, so okay. that'll, be that'll, a, be good a, that'll be a huge competition. So excited about that one on the fourth. And then next uh, Thursday, the fifth, uh, volleyball is at Hanley. And then we're back home uh, versus Brentsville for Hall of Fame game and our student activities night. And I know uh, we have, but you've been putting a lot of work for the Hall of Fame. 
give us a little update. Well, we'll touch base on that at the end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then cross country is going over to the Plains uh, for Oktoberfest next Saturday. And then Cop Cheer is going to Harrisonburg. So busy week next week. Uh, let's take it to what do we got next? Oh, we got another building block community partner, CNC. Yes. Uh, appreciate uh, William and Nina Huck uh, joining. Uh, they've always been super supportive of Warren County High School. So appreciate them. Again, all those proceeds are going to uh, help pay for our students to come support each other. Again, all those things help um, the investment, the culture, the climate of Warren County High School. So appreciate um, William and Nina. And CNC. Anybody else that wants to become a building block partner, contact me. And, and it's been awesome. It really is. You know, I get to see the pass sheets. They come in, and I know we're going to at the end of the season have some data for everybody and talk about the numbers. But I've been seeing. I mean, we're over double of the student body that's coming to games on just an average weeknight. Football was even over that. But I right. mean, we're talking great numbers. So. All the building box sponsors, it's happening. It's working. The students are coming out, and we, we really thank you for that because couldn't have it without you. 100%. And that, like last night's a great example. I mean, our place was packed with yes. students supporting uh, those young ladies, which doesn't always happen. No. So yeah. it was a great thing. Great thing. Appreciate the building block partners. And then that takes us to the Hall of Fame. Yes. You want to give us a Excited. recap and some uh, highlights there? Yep, yep. We got um, a class of six going into the Hall of Fame. Gage Steele, uh, Tiffany Walker, um, Chucky Sperry, Trey Kirkland, Nicole King, and Mrs. B. Mrs. B. Mrs. B in the hall. Um, this Friday, we're going to have a ceremony um, that is up at the high school cafeteria and um, with uh, friends and family for those guys and all of Hall of Fame members. I've been trying to reach out to all the Hall of Fame members. It's, it's, it's hard sometimes, we lose contact. So shout out to anybody if they see this. Uh, all the Hall of Fame members are invited and then we'll have a ceremony where they get inducted with their friends and families and then the time comes at halftime for the crowd. The crowd sees them, we're gonna come out on halftime on the track and we're gonna induct them all there in front of everybody. So it's gonna be a great event. Uh, you know, we've been talking this week about some things we want to do for the Hall of Fame. We want to get this growing and keep connections. Uh, the one big thing happened, you know, when uh, we moved schools, you know, Warren County High School came over here and we want everybody out there to know, you know, we're still Warren County High School. We may not be that building, but we still want to keep a great uh, close ties to all those people. So um, if, if you're in the Hall of Fame or if you're just a Wildcat, come out this week. Uh, for this Friday night football game, or next week, excuse me, for the Friday night football game. And um, it's going to be a great time. Yeah. Well, again, as many uh, people, but uh, Mr. Nelson used to always say, you know, a school is just bricks and mortar. It's the people inside. And so the people that were Warren County High School are still that. Once so, a wildcat, always a wildcat. That's right. Yep. All right. That takes us to the weekend. What you got for the weekend? We're soccering it all weekend. We're going to Annandale and we're going to uh, Sharando Park. So Saturday and Sunday, I'll be watching some soccer. Soccer, soccer, and a little more soccer. Yeah. What about you? Um, Will's at home at Frostburg. They're playing Notre Dame College. Uh, so that'll be a big one in the Mountain East. So uh, that's a one o'clock one o'clock kick. So heading up to Frostburg tomorrow to watch a little... Um, Will and some Frostburg hopefully get a W. They're three or three and zero right now. Nice. So um, yeah, that's exciting. And then hopefully Sunday just re recoup, mm. recover. Yeah. I yeah. get one day you don't. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow I got to fit mowing the grass in there because it's about. Oh yeah. man. It's yeah. Cool. I, I don't know. We're gonna figure that, but. That Wednesday with the one day off. Yeah. That was my mow the grass. Uh, that was. That was my nap day. Yeah. <laughs> I took that one off. Hustle and mow grass. Yep. As always, we appreciate all you guys. We appreciate your support. Um, you're a valuable part of this. So keep coming out, supporting those uh, young ladies and men. And like we'll and subscribe. Oh, yeah, like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. We'll see you guys next week.